Hi, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look into this problem where we are dealing with three sets and related to union and intersection. It's a practical problem. In a survey of 60 people, it was found that 25 people read newspaper H, 26 read newspaper T, 26 read newspaper I, 9 read both H and I, 11 read both H and T, 8 read both T and I, 3 read all the 3 newspapers. Find the number of people who read at least one of the newspapers. Also the number of people who read exactly one newspaper. So first let's try to understand what we have been asked. Okay, Now what is the meaning of this number of people who read at least one of the newspapers? That's nothing but equal to N of H union T union I where H T I are sets of three newspapers right H T I okay right number of people who read exactly one newspaper what's the meaning of that I have to find out the people who read only H and who read only I and also who read only T and add them up so to do this problem instead of doing it without Venn diagrams I prefer to do it through Venn diagrams so that it's very easy to solve so let's try to draw a rectangle so let's start with we have total 60 people so that's nothing but our n of u is equal to 60 it was found that 25 people read newspaper H so can I say n of H equal to 25 Similarly, N of T is 26, 26 people read newspaper T, so I can say N of T is 26. N of I, similarly, is also equal to 26. After that, I have 9 read both H and I, that means N of H intersection I equal to 9. Similarly, N of H intersection T is equal to 11 and I have one more that is n of t intersection i that is nothing but equal to 8 and I have one more that is 3 read all 3 newspapers what's the meaning of that n of h intersection t intersection i equal to 3 ok now let's try to put that values in the Venn diagram See, when I, when I have been told N of H is 25, what's the meaning of that? This whole H circle should all together should be 25. So that includes only H plus H intersection T and also H intersection I and also H intersection T intersection I. So what I will do first is, first I will put down what is the this particular, if you look at this piece whatever I have that is nothing but equal to this one let me draw this one this is nothing but equal to H intersection T intersection I that value is 3 that value is 3 ok now since we have done that now it's easy so that we can find out the remaining values what is N of H intersection T H intersection T is 11 so this total part is 11 out of that this is 3 so this becomes 8 I hope you are comfortable with that N of H intersection T is 11 but we know already this small part is 3 so this should become 8 on the similar lines H intersection I is 9 3 is gone so this should be 6 similarly T intersection I is 8 so total is 8 but already 3 is there so this becomes 5 now this is pretty simple now you know N of H equal to 25 what will be this one nothing but equal to 25 minus of 8 plus 3 plus 6 that is nothing but equal to 8 plus 3 is 11 11 plus 6 is 17 so can I say 25 minus 17 equal to 8. So this is value is 
8. Okay. Now, how to find out t on the same lines? We know n of t equal to 26. Out of that, 8 plus 3 plus 5. 11 plus 5, 16 is gone. I have 10 left out. Similarly, come to i. I know again 26 is n of i. I have 6 plus 3 plus 5. 14 is gone. So, I should have only 12 over here. That's it. We are done with that. Now, we can solve the problem. What's the first thing we have been asked? Number of people who read at least one of the newspaper that is nothing but H union T union I. I can simply add all these. I will get directly. You can apply the formula whatever we have learned in last session that N of H union T union I is nothing but equal to N of H plus N of T plus N of I minus of N of H intersection T minus of N of T intersection I minus of n of h intersection i plus n of h intersection t intersection i. That's the formula we have learned. But I don't need the formula. I know that h union t union i means I should completely take all the values without any overlapping. So I, I have all the different sections very, very pretty clear. Now I can just add them up. n of h union t union i is nothing but equal to either h or t or i that's nothing but equal to 8 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 plus 5 plus 12 that's equal to 16 19 25 35 40 52 so that is nothing but your n of h union t union i. Now let's come to the next one. The number of people who read exactly one newspaper. That means I want, for example, I want only people who read h. How many, how many are the people who read only h? You can look at the diagram and you can say, these are the only guys who are only with h. You can see that that part is only h. That means it is nothing but 8. Similarly, you can see only t. Only t is nothing but this number. Only t is this one. And what else we want? We want only, let us say we want only i. This is only i. I will start here. Then I go. This is only i. Now you can see those color. One is blue. One is uh, you have one yellow here, and also you have one pinkish color. Okay, right. Now you add them, all of them. You will get nothing but your. So I will say, what is the what is that we have to find out? The number of people who read exactly one newspaper is the people who read only H plus only t plus only i now how many people read only h only h are 8 only t are 10 and only i are 12 so you can add them up that's nothing but equal to 30 so the number of people who read i only h that means they read only one newspaper they read either h or t or i so they don't read H and T. They don't have two papers. Only one paper. Those are nothing but equal to sum up to 30. So I hope this is clear to you how to solve these type of problems. We have to start with the H intersection. T we have to start with the intersection of three sets so that we can easily fill the remaining intersection. Once we can fill the remaining intersections, we know the n of h, n of t, n of i, it becomes pretty simple to find out only h, only t and only i. So, see you in the next session. That's about how to solve problems related to three sets. When we have to find out in a practical problem, h union, t union, i, something like or h intersection, t intersection, i. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. See you in the next session.